All right, guys, so Apple just announced new iPad Pro models featuring an improved M5 chip. And look, guys, the improvements that are being made to this device might be a little bit more impactful than they appear on the surface. Here's the five things you need to know about the M5 iPad Pro. All right, first up, performance. Each GPU core in this new M5 has a neural accelerator. And what that means is that AI apps or apps with AI features in them should see real performance bumps thanks to being able to employ the power of those GPU cores rather than having to rely solely on the neural engine of the chip. Plus, Apple says M5 packs its fastest CPU performance cores yet. All right, second, internal storage on these new iPad Pros is now twice as fast, and memory bandwidth is 30% higher at around 153 gigabytes a second. Plus, another nice little bonus on these M5 iPad Pros is that the lower tier storage models, 256 gigabyte and the 512 gigabyte models, now start with more RAM at 12 gigabytes. Third, let's talk displays. So the M5 iPad Pros display is still that same awesome Ultra Retina XDR in 11 inch and 13 inch versions. You're getting tandem OLED performance, high sustained brightness, and that optional nano texture glass to reduce glare. But new on this M5 iPad Pro is support for external displays with up to 120 hertz refresh rates, plus adaptive sync for lower latency. So those are going to be really nice updates for gaming and professional application use on your iPad Pro. Now, fourth connectivity on iPad Pro has also stepped up its game. And that's thanks to the new N1 wireless chip, which brings Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6, along with thread support. Plus, the cellular versions of the iPad Pro get the new C1X modem, which is Apple's in-house design modem. And Apple says that this chip is going to provide 50% faster data speeds on the cellular versions while using 30% less power than previous models. And fifth and finally, fast charging gets a major upgrade on iPad Pro with M5. Now, when you connect your iPad Pro to a high wattage charger, you can recharge your iPad to about 50% in only 30 minutes. So my big takeaway here is that I think when you combine the performance of M5, this better charging, the better connectivity improvements wirelessly, this new uh, improved display support, along with the multitasking and more desktop-like interface of iPad OS 26, this is probably going to feel like more of an upgrade to this iPad Pro than it might seem like on the surface, especially if you're going to be connecting your iPad Pro to an external display quite often. Now, pricing starts at $999 for the 11-inch M5 iPad Pro and $1299 for the 13-inch. But what do you guys think? Are you going to be springing for this new iPad Pro? Are you excited about the support for 120 hertz refresh rate displays? Let us know in the comments.